If you have been looking for a tool to help you create SEO optimized content, especially for blogs and content on your site, then stick around because in this video, I'm going to be giving you a full overview of one of my favorite tools, Surfer SEO, and how we use it to create content that ranks on Google and it gets us all the clicks that we are looking for. Hello and welcome. If this is your first time joining, my name is Soph. I'm an SEO consultant and of course, run my own SEO agency. Be sure to hit like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all of our content where we release new videos every single week. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive on in. So what exactly is Surfer SEO and how does it work? Surfer SEO is an AI platform that allows you to take content and optimize that content to rank on Google search. Now, if you have never heard of Google search, Google ranking SEO, please be sure to check out previous videos that I've recorded that explain what SEO is, how it works, and what you need to know for the basics. I won't be going into details on that today, but what I do want you to understand is that Surfer SEO, in my opinion, is one of the best tools out there when it comes to creating SEO optimized content. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk through how Surfer SEO works, the details of it, and show you exactly what we can create with it in just a moment here. So this is Surfer SEO. And we've been using Surfer SEO for about four years now, 2021, 2022. Um, and I got into this in its earliest stages when it was just a baby. Uh, and it has grown a lot over the years. It has a ton of just growth and recognition in the SEO and marketing industry. And personally, I find that it just does an amazing job with what it is. So you can check out more about Surfer. You can click the link down in the description below. Of course, you can always just go and search for it. Um, and pricing wise, because I know this question is going to come up, it does have a slightly higher price point compared to some other platforms. If you are going to be on the monthly option, you're looking at 99 per month to get started. There is a seven day money back guarantee, not a free trial though, unfortunately. Sorry about that. Um, but if you do use our affiliate link in the description down below, it does help out, of course. Uh, and you can check out all those pieces. Let's go ahead and get into though the details of how Surfer SEO works and why it would be worth the cost. So I'm gonna go ahead and log into our account here. I'm gonna show you what the back end of Surfer SEO looks like and how it integrates with uh, our actual site. So here we are on the back end of Surfer SEO and how this platform works is you have a few different tools that you can use for creating content and then you have all of your content down here that you've previously created. What you wanna know are two important things. One, the ability to actually write content. Now, a lot of times I get this question of, why don't you just use ChatGPT to create SEO optimized content? And the answer is simple. It doesn't actually work that way. <laughs> Surfer integrates with Google Search Console and Google Search, um, Google Analytics and Google Tools, and I'll show you how we get there. So the content that it's pulling in and how it's analyzing the data for specific keywords that you're wanting to target is based on the actual information that it's pulling from Google, which means that you're not just guessing and having random information based on whatever open source piece of information is giving you, it's based on real data. And I think that's incredibly important to understand when you're creating content that you're wanting to rank. Here you can see all of the different pieces of content that we've created over the years. And as you can see, there is a lot of content that we've created. You're gonna notice on each one of these pieces of content here, there is a keyword or keywords that is used to dictate or tell you what it is that we're trying to rank for. What's the main parent keyword that we're trying to rank for. And then on the left-hand side, you're gonna see a lovely little score. Most of these are in the green. Uh, some of them, as you can see, we haven't written yet. And that's gonna tell you how our content is actually ranking in comparison to the top pieces of content for that specific keyword on Google. So whenever I go in to create a piece of content, for instance, let's take our pros and cons of blogging. What it will do is it will go ahead and pull all the information in from the top ranking posts on Google search today, looking at the SERP or search engine results page, and then telling me exactly what I need to be doing in order to get my content to rank. So what it's telling me is the amount of words, the amount of headings, paragraphs, the number of images, and the keywords that I wanna be including in my content in order to potentially rank for that key term. So with content for Google with blogging. It's not a guessing game and it's not about what feels like fun for you. It's about actually understanding the data and the analytics. If you don't understand this, you're gonna be wasting a lot of time. Inside Surfer SEO, it helps save you a ton of time because it gives you the information that you're looking for. So you can say, okay, I wanna rank or create a piece of content for this specific keyword. That's what we're plugging in and I'll show you how we got here. And then it tells you what you need to do. As you edit the piece of content, it will change the score. So for instance, if we were to 
remove the title, you'll notice that our score goes down. If we bring the title back, it boosts our score back up. So we can see in real time how our content is doing based on the changes that we make to the content. It'll also show us how different pieces of content are doing on the Google SERP. So what it'll look like is it'll look at the actual SERP, the search engine results page on Google and say, okay, what are the other pieces of content, competitor content ranking for? How is it performing? What's that look like? And it'll give you insights on what you can do with your content to improve it and make it better. Remember that SEO marketing is not about trying to copy other people's content. It's about taking what you're really good at and creating a unique twist on it in order to show your expertise and provide information in a powerful way. So here's where, again, it's going to, uh, address what things I should be covering, what I have covered. Uh, so you can see here what we're talking about, different pieces, et cetera. And then it'll also generate a little outline for you based again on the Google SERP. So it's not just some random AI generated content. This is content that is based on actual data. And I think that's an important piece, which is why I am being such a nitpicker on continuing to hit that home. <laughs> now, the other thing with uh, Surf for SEO is it does actually have a direct integration with your WordPress website. So you can actually one click export this blog post from Surfer over to your WordPress site, and you can actually edit your posts on WordPress using Surfer SEO. But let's go ahead and take a step back here. I'm going to show you how we get to the content editing component and the uh, other components of how Surfer works. Sites is where you can actually integrate or link your websites to Surfer SEO so you can track real-time analytics about it and also where you link your Google search uh, account and your search console. So up here, this is where you can connect it. It'll show you your search console accounts based on your information. And then over on the site section, this is where we've linked our site with our search console so we can see how our site is doing. This will tell us exactly how our content is performing, what content is performing where, for what keywords, and it's pulling this information not from a random place, but from actual Google Search Console, Google Analytics. We're also able to see inside of Surfer the different pieces of content that we're ranking for, different keywords that are coming up, and we can review that information to help us make different decisions about what we potentially want to do next. The content audit is where you can one click review different pieces of content on your site, blog posts, et cetera, see how they're ranking, how they're performing, and then auto optimize in just one little click to get your score from whatever it is to whatever it needs to be, which is again, a really amazing tool that I think Surfer does a really good job with. Uh, the other thing is topical maps. So if you haven't spent a whole lot of time in the SEO world, basically topical maps is getting into what you want to be creating content around. So you have your main topic and then the different pieces of content that go around that topic so that you can really build credibility and authority on that specific subject. So inside of Surfer, it does this cool thing where it provides a nice little visual map for you depending on what it is you're trying to rank for. And it'll show you here the uh, main parent keywords of so SEO ser services overview, and then the content that we have covered, uh, and then suggestions for additional blog topics that we should be covering for that keyword cluster. So that is helpful for us to understand, okay, what additional content do I need to be creating? And you're not guessing, you're not wondering. If you know what you're wanting to rank for, who are you trying to be found for, who you're trying to write content for, then it's an easy way for you to basically take that insight and understanding of your business and then use it to drive your traffic forward by knowing what content to create. So I can come in here and I can say, okay, great. Here's all of these pieces of content that I need to be working on creating potentially potentially rank for specific keyword clusters. Now I can see over here, SEO consulting services. If I were to click on this piece of content, um, I can see here SEO optimization consulting, search optimization agency, search engine optimization experts, different keywords that I could potentially focus on to create content around or work on um, actually ranking for to help boost the site credibility and authority. So again, <laughs> more technical stuff here. I'm gonna try not to get too caught up in the weeds, but I just wanna show you again, some of the bigger features that I actually find to be really helpful when I'm looking at what I wanna be creating. Surfer does offer the recommendations here as well. So if you're like, okay, what should I be writing right now? You can see here that I've already started to create different pieces of content based on the recommendations. So if I click on continue, it's gonna open up the content editor. So it's saying, hey, based on what we're seeing, here's an awesome keyword that you can target. So we've got Surfer SEO versus Ahrefs, and it's already creating for us the full blog post using Surfer 
AI. So Surfer AI creates this piece of content, writes it, and it's already scoring at a 67, which is great. Obviously, then I can come in here and continue to update and rewrite and enhance this content so that I can then go and publish it. And it's going to ideally beat that top score so I can start ranking for these keywords, these key terms. Now, you might be wondering, OK, so this is great, but how do you actually know what keywords you want to rank for? <laughs> Check out our previous videos on how to do keyword research. There is an important step that comes before going into actually writing the content, which is knowing what you're trying to write about and what you're trying to rank for. If you don't have the answers to that yet, then you do need to go back and do your keyword research, do your competitive analysis and then come back to the step so you can use Surfer more powerfully. So with your plan, when you purchase Surfer SEO, you do get a certain amount of free AI written articles every single month, meaning you can just have Surfer SEO write your blog posts for you automatically. And that does save you a ton of time. So you're not having to work from scratch. Also, you have the ability to use this tool for both insert inserting internal links. So check this out. It's going to look at my site and I'm going to click insert semantic links. So it's crawling my existing website and it's going to pull links from my site to insert them into the actual blog post and blog content. Already we can see it's inserted eight different links throughout this blog post. So I can go ahead and highlight those and I can see what it's linking to, which is great for again, internal linking. We're creating more of that beautiful web on our site. So we're again, building traffic and continuing to create this wonderful experience for viewers. The secondary option here is auto optimize. So auto optimize, you get, uh, I think around 30 per month of these that you can use. And so what it's going to do is it's going to go through the entire piece of content that you've written in here, and it's going to improve it and enhance it to get your score above what it's currently at. So it takes a few minutes. It re, uh, reads every single component, the blog uh, headings, the titles, the actual content on the page, the sections, and then it looks at how it can improve that content for you. So again, you're boosting your ranking. This is another little hack where if you don't have AI completely generate it, you start writing some of it and then you come in here and you want to optimize it. You can use the auto optimize tool to take your current content and make it even better. So you're going to start to notice here on the right hand side, our score is starting to go up. It was at a 67 when we started. Um, and as Surfer is going through and optimizing this, you'll be able to see different sections that it's working on and it's going to be adjusting to improve that score. It does take a few minutes, so bear with me <laughs> as we're going through this, but you can see here in the highlighted purple, this is the new content that it's adding in and it's updating in order to, again, boost our score, get it ranking higher. Now, the important caveat on this is that you do need to make sure that it is actually in alignment with what you teach, meaning it's an integrity with what you would say, what you would write. So you don't want to just be posting content without reviewing the content. You want to make sure that it matches your values, your beliefs, and your expertise as a business owner so that you know what you're creating is quality content. Now, as this goes through, it's going to continue to update it. And you can see our score is continuing to go up as it's adding in additional pieces of information, adding in additional sections that weren't there before. And ideally, we're going to get into like that right below or right at the average piece of content that's currently ranking on the Google SERP, meaning based on Surfer SEO's scoring of every piece of content on Google search right now that's ranking for this key term, they're averaging around a score of 77. So I obviously want to be at least at a 77 and ideally above that 86. Once it's done, I'll be able to click here and save and close. And now I can see my content went from a 67 to a 79 and it's pretty much getting a lot better. Obviously, I have to go through and review it and make it perfect. Uh, so that is how Surfer SEO helps create really powerful content for you that you can then go and publish to your site, have it rank even higher. Now we are at the 15 minute mark on this video. It's probably a longer one. So I apologize, but thank you for sticking around. If you have the last thing that I'm going to cover on here, uh, is just going over some of the quick tools that Surfer SEO offers. So you have obviously your keyword up here that we're talking about. We mentioned the topical maps and looking at the suggestions from that. But I think the last thing that you want to understand is for tools, it does include the ability for you to audit your existing site to create topic research. So you can do that on your site and figure out, okay, what else can I create? You can do keyword research here. I personally prefer to use Ahrefs for my keyword research and then take that information and bring it over here. Everybody has a different style, not a right or wrong uh, option there. Uh, you can also analyze the syrup, but again, not going to get too detailed into this on this video. We'll talk about that in the next one. I think the last thing I want to talk about is just if you have a keyword that you're trying to rank for, how do you put that in here? So when you go to the right section, 
you have what's called a content editor. You're gonna create new content. And this is where you plug in the keyword that you wanna potentially rank for. So in my case, what I would do is maybe I would create something like Taja um, AI. And what I would wanna do is uh, create maybe a comparison of like Taja uh, AI review. So I'm going to say, hey, take these keywords. These are the keywords I want you to focus on. Let's go ahead and create a piece of content. Uh, and then what I can do is I can take, cause I already have this article on my site. So I can go ahead and grab that from my site. Boom, I can plug in my existing content. And so what it'll do is it'll pull the content from my site, plug it into the Surfer SEO article, and then I can work with Surfer SEO on optimizing that blog so I can make it even better. I don't need to have a blog already written. I can just start fresh and it'll give me a fresh page. Uh, but this is how you can, again, take whatever keywords you're wanting to rank for and then plug them in, start working on content, creating it, editing. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions that have come up around Surfer and how to use Surfer or what I think of Surfer or any other tools, please feel free to comment them down below. I have done uh, previous videos going over other platforms. I will say though, transparently, Surfer SEO is hands down my personal favorite. I have used other tools like ScaleNet and ScaleNet I think is an amazing alternative if you can't afford Surfer SEO if the price is a little bit too higher because it is on the premium side when it comes to AI SEO content or platforms. So that's something again to consider. If you are interested in checking out Surfer SEO, please check out the link in our description down below. It is an affiliate link, so we do get commission if you end up purchasing through there, but it does really help me and this channel. And also just a nice way of saying, hey, thanks, so it doesn't cost you anything, uh, but it does make a big difference because then of course, you get insights, we get referrals, commissions. Thank you again for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button. If you have questions, comment down below. And as always, be sure to subscribe for future videos where we will continue to go more in depth on additional platforms, services, to tools, or uh, strategies to help you grow your business through SEO marketing. And I will see you all in future videos.